my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 270 in this lecture we will try to understand geometrical interpretation of k nearest neighborhood algorithm this is one of the simplest yet very powerful classification technique first we will try to understand its geometrical interpretation then we will try to understand mathematical interpretation we will try to understand its geometrical interpretation with the help of two dimensional toy data set two dimensional toy data set let's understand how it works let's take a case of let's take a case of binary classification binary classification we already defined we already discussed what is binary classification in my previous lecture imagine i have two types of points one is blue crosses and another one is red crosses blue crosses represents positive class whereas red crosses represents negative class it is two dimensional space how do you know just see this one is x axis this one is y axis therefore i can say it is 2d let's assume our points are distributed like this this is 2d space 2d space let me draw let me draw these points these are data points each each cross represents data points each point here this point this point this point all these points represent data points data points we are keeping these points in 2d two dimensional space i can say each point here represent data point blue crosses represent positive points these blue crosses these blue crosses represents positive points what about this red crosses these are represents negative points as we as we were saying that it is binary classification problem here we have only two classes that is positive class and again negative class anything that we can understand in 2d can be extended to n dimensional space or higher dimensional space with the help of linear algebra i already discussed in linear algebra classes that is the power of linear algebra let's assume whole data that this is the data we have isn't it let let me assume this is let me say this is my capital d what is capital d i already discussed how to represent data set in my previous lectures just see my d equal to i can say my d is a data set of pairs pairs means what xi comma yi where my xi belongs to r2 such that xi belongs to r2 because it is 2d that's what we were saying because it is 2d 2d data because it is 2d data my yi belongs to as we were saying that we are interested in binary classification your yi belongs to 0 comma 1 here we have two classes 0 being my negative class what is 0 this is negative class negative class 1 being positive class 1 being positive positive class isn't it my negative class is red points this is red points is negative class and my positive class is these blue points represent positive points you are given a data set what is the whole purpose of machine learning we are given data set we are given data set capital d we are given data set capital d we learn something from it we understand how classification works i already discussed how classification works in my previous lectures you are given a data set capital d 
you are given a data set capital D your machine learning algorithm will learn something from this let let me say let uh, this uh, this your machine learning algorithm learn some model I can say your machine learning algorithm will learn some model some it will it learns some model isn't it learns i can say it learns some function f it learn some function f this this i already discussed in my previous lectures as i told you i already discussed this one just refer my previous lectures i request i request you to refer lecture number 269 and 268 so that you will get an idea isn't it what, what, what is the purpose in my previous lecture what i discussed you have a training data d by using that your machine learning algorithm learns a function f if there is a now given a new query point xq given a new query point xq to the same function isn't it you are giving xq to the same function to the same function what will it do now i will repeat now given a new query point xq to the same function it it now it, it now says whether it is positive whether it is positive class whether it is negative class let's take a query point let's call let me say like this let me say like this let's take a query point xq here let me say like this yes this is my query point where is my query point this is my query point let me say this is xq isn't it i will repeat let's take let's take a query point here let's let's call this query point xq isn't it let's call this query point as xq let's assume this is my first query point now given a query point when i when i am coloring in different color this is yellow color that's what this is query point which indicates query point i am putting circle you see i am putting circle around this my query point now i want to determine whether this point is blue point whether i want to determine whether this point is blue point or red point blue point means positive point red point means negative point isn't it blue point means positive point this red point means what negative point first thing you will say let's think let's think let's think it intuitively now one thing you can quickly notice just see just observe this one if you look at all the points which are close to the point take all the points which are close to the points this is my xq this yellow point is my xq just take all the points which are close to this query point xq this query point xq isn't it i will repeat take all the points which are close to this query point xq so take take points that are close to your query point xq what does query point means i want to determine what is the class of my query point that is the that is the classification all about i must say what is the class of this query point that's 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 the classification all about it's about given a query point xq given a query point xq you want to determine what is its yq what is its yq given query point xq you must determine what is yq this is this is whole purpose of classification or even regression for that matter most machine learning all most machine learning all about it given a query point we, we have to find what is its class for given a query point you must be able to say what is its corresponding class now how to do it now one way for me now one way for me to do it i look at all the points which are close which are close to which are geometrically close to xq isn't it which are geometrically close to xq now what now what happens most of the points 
that are in the neighborhood of this query point this is query point this is query point this can be called what are the neighborhood this can be treated as this can be called as neighborhood of my point xq this is neighborhood of my point xq in the neighborhood which means the geometrical proximity neighborhood in the sense geometrical proximity or geometrical closeness you will find mostly blue points because just observe how many how many blue points are there if you observe carefully there are four blue points xq lies xq lies in the neighborhood of my blue points i could conclude or i i can decide that my xq is also my xq is also the my xq is also blue point isn't it blue point in the sense my xq is also positive points why because in its geometrical closeness in its neighborhood i have blue points i could conclude or decide that my xq is also positive or blue point isn't it by just using proximity by just using closeness intuitively that makes sense intuitively that makes lot of common sense now now what what what's the meaning what's the class of this particular uh, uh, this is my xq corresponding y q i can say like this now given xq what is our whole task given xq find y q given xq find y q that's what that's what my classification is my y q this is binary classification my y q belongs to 0 comma 1 0 means what's the meaning of 0 0 means negative class 0 means negative class 1 means what is 1 1 means positive class 1 means positive class so what so what does kn and do i will summarize i will summarize all these steps in my next lecture that is in lecture number 271 time being just understand what is neighborhood how for given xq how one can for given query point xq how can i find corresponding yq i will continue my discussion in my next lecture that is in lecture number 271 thank you very much